so here we go right um i'm just pretending that i'm having a game obviously this is a, a blanket um i use this little character over here as a reference because i needed something like to you know motivate me so i got this little princess character cool whatever let's do it right so what am i going to use right obviously the simple way is to get a text you can drag your text over there i've seen people do that and after that you just you know put over there you put whatever you know the name you want in there right you make the text bigger you know add some whatever and whatever right i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna show you a better way of doing this and um i'm gonna use a different i'm gonna use a different software called canva now if you're a student of mine then you already know about canva if you don't canva is basically free but they do have some other options as well now with canva right as you can see they already have templates you know what a template is templates is a pre-designed thing they already have already so if i type in like i don't know this side game i probably can use one of these templates right easily um but that's what i'm gonna do today um can you go elements and type in like princess absolutely and you, you know, you have like different princess coming up. That's that's one option as well. Uh, but just like you all know about uh, ChatGPT, uh, this is uh, they have their own magic media. <laughs> um, with magic media, you're able to kind of go and just generate different images. They do have videos, but right now I'm only going to focus on images. If you like, like what are all these ducks? Uh, the different ducks are different types or different styles of art so you got thematic that's like real photo kind of real uh, anime dreamy i mean the list goes on and on all right all right so for our princess she had a, like a gold crown and all the other good stuff uh what she has uh, brown hair and stuff like that so let me go ahead i'm gonna paste uh this in already because basically all you're doing is describing what this person looks like i'm gonna pick anime um and so basically what i did is don't please don't be, don't be the grammar police right now so I put like a, a little princess girl with brown hair, a gold crown with a purple shirt in a fighter pose, or if you can put fighting pose, I guess for all, I'm just, gonna, just, just because I know somebody out there is gonna be unique and they still gonna probably find something wrong and that's fine, I'm cool with that. All right, so once it gets done generating, right, it's gonna give you four outcomes. And all you're gonna do is take that outcome and just put it on the, on the page. I mean, literally, it's that simple, right? So boom, 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 right? Here's the different ones. So just for time purposes, I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead, drag that on the scene, right? Boom, it's there. Oh, it looks legit. After that, all right, so I'm gonna act like you don't know how to do this. <laughs> so uh, basically, you can stretch it out, right? They have these little arrows, you can stretch it out, of course. Uh, for time purposes though, you can right click it and I'm just gonna set image as background. All right, boom. I'm gonna double click on it just to drag it down. Oh, that looks, that's fire. I'm not gonna lie you, that's pretty decent. I might even make a game after this. All right, let me hit done. And so I'm gonna grab some text. They already kind of have uh, their own, you know, thing going on. I'm just gonna use one of these preset templates already. Uh, so let's just keep it simple. Set your uh, parameters. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, it's gonna be either big or small. I need to just make sure she's over here. I'm gonna take my text and kind of drag it over here just so that when I... All right, so boom, here we go. And again, I'm just gonna leave it that simple. All right, so I got it already named. Let's go ahead and download this. So boom, download. Make sure this file type either says PNG or, J, or JPEG. I do just do PNG because it just brings it out a little bit easier. So boom, I already have that already. So, you know, that's done. All right, now I got that. I'm gonna go over here back to GDevelop and I can scratch that because I don't need no more. Go over here, boom, you know, you can just put title if you want to, you know, import. So boom, yeah, make sure you save it. Hit apply. And this is, now this is our like new start screen. And then basically all you do at this point, um, you can add what you want to add to it. So, Let's go ahead and add, our, add a button. Again, you can do a simple one. Don't gotta be 
too extravagant. Boom, let's take this, throw it right here. Right there where it starts. All right, hit apply, bingo, right? Again, you know, the more stuff you have, you can just change it up. You might have settings and stuff like that, you know, boom, whatever it may be. You know, do the same thing for that. All right, cool with that. Oh. And then just for giggle purposes. Uh, it changes the credits. All right. Well, all right. Now, once you get done with this, uh, there's only one more thing you need to do. Uh, you just go over here an event type the word beginning it's for like at beginning of scene uh, press ok so this all gonna have the beginning of the scene you're gonna go ahead and add your sound to it if you don't have a sound they got free sounds up here I have a sound just for this video so I'm just go ahead and go. all right and then now I got a sound that's gonna play and after this you know you want to get your button and let me go add a scene right quick and I'm gonna rename this menu or whatever you want to call it. And after that, let's type this level one, just so y'all can see it like it go into another thing. Let me click on this. All right. Boom. So now that I got all my buttons and stuff the way I want them. You can line them up just by figuring out where is the X. I want to say X. So if I want to line them up, just boom. Here you go. And then boom. That's off like whatever two pixels. All right. I'm gonna go over here. You want to do, what you want to do is click on your button, and after that, when it's pressed or if it's clicked, no matter which one, you want to go ahead and just change what they call the scene, and that's it. And you can do this scene can go any place. You can go to options. You can go to literally whatever scene you want to, um, whatever one you create. And that's basically how you make a, uh, a start scene. Really, nothing more than that. All right, let me just save it and not preview for it, so you can see it. That's on fire. I'm gonna keep it a buck, like <laughs> pretty decent. All right, and then boom, I start, and then boom, it goes down. All right, have any questions? Uh, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, please like the video.